What's my favourite line from What's Happening White People? It's probably What's Happening White People because that's the name of the DVD and it's an open-ended question. So it brings you into the themes of the show, talk about all the gangster shit that I'm talking about in the show. Have I ever had a serious slash embarrassing incident with another celebrity? I haven't taken many slashes with other celebrities, but if I did, it would be pretty embarrassing. If I wasn't a comedian, what would I do? I'd probably be working in a film. I'm very interested in making films, uh, pornographic films, uh, you know, stuff like, you know, homemade porn. It was on Facebook. I'm on Twitter as well. I don't understand Twitter. If I want to follow someone, I'll do it in a raincoat. <laughs> Favourite London hangouts are number one, the Hammersmith Apollo. Best place to watch live comedy. Very intimate. There's 3,000 people in that room. The O2, 15,000 people in that room. O2 Gala, where I performed. Number three, uh, probably where I filmed Live at the Apollo, um, which was Hammersmith, which is the same answer. How was the What's Happening White People tour? It's pretty good, and it's not was, it still is, because I'm still on this What's Happening White People tour. Do I prefer smaller venues? I, I love smaller venues because smaller venues are very intimate and you've got people all around you. It's like doing a gig in your house or your car, you know, it's very much intimate. Whereas the bigger shows are slightly more performance driven, you're banging it out. My favourite films, I would say I'm a big Stanley Kubrick fan, uh, Martin Scorsese films, big fan of Ron Jeremy, he was one of the biggest porn stars of the 80s. So it ranges from all those kind of very intelligent filmmakers. Does anything make me uncomfortable? I'd say I'm not a big fan of racism. Uh, I would never focus on racism and make a joke out of it. But if you're interested, what's happening white people, November 19th. Are there any other Asian comedians that I'm proud of that are coming out at the moment? Uh, I'm not sure about their sexual persuasion, but if they want to come out, I think they should speak to their families first. When I decided to become a comedian, I remember I sat down and told my family I'm a comedian and they uh, beat me pretty severely. Uh, I was in intensive care for three or four weeks and they asked me the question again, what do you want to do? And I said again, I want to be a stand-up comedian. They beat me again and I was in intensive care, so um, they took it quite well, they're very supportive. And Facebook, oh let's be friends on Facebook, I ain't seen you in ages. There's a reason I ain't seen you in ages. <laughs> I never liked you in real life, you bastard. <laughs> I've got loads of friends. I've got 758 friends. I go, how come you've got so many friends and you've taken your own picture in the mirror with a camera phone? <laughs> Which stand-up comedians did I like watching as a kid? I was a big fan of the American stand-ups. Uh, Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, George Carlin, Sam Kinison, uh, Morecam Wise from the UK, Lynn Large, Bruce Forsyth. Nice to see you, nice. Good game, good game. The most memorable place I've been on this tour has been at the Hammersmith Apollo because there were cameras there. The last time somebody came and complained after a show was Milton Keynes when a woman was disgusted by almost everything I said. She shook her head. She said, I was very shocked by what you said. I said, do you know what I'm about? You're coming to my show. What are you expecting? Something like, goodness gracious me, or shit, the citizen can if I was really expecting, you've come to the wrong show. People expect to go and see an Asian comic. They want family-friendly comedy. They want you to dance around. Hello, everybody. And you know, they bring their kids. That's not... I'm a stand-up. Just because I'm Indian, don't bring your families to see me. Indians don't drink, innit? <laughs> People think... Dave, you think... How come Indians don't? Is it because of religion, mate? No, it's because of rounds. <laughs> Why did I decide to call my DVD What's Happening to White People? The main reason is I used to go out on stages and most of the crowds were predominantly white and I'd just go out there as a joke and say, what's happening white people? Then I ended up doing it on Channel 4 and a few TV shows and it became a catchphrase. People started saying it to me, white people started saying it and it just became a kind of a catchphrasey, jokey type of thing. What's been my favourite heckle was probably when somebody was in the audience and they said, you shut up bastard! And then that became something I started to use in my shows. You shut up, but don't do it, bastard people. You know, started heckling with the Asian families especially. They couldn't take it. They didn't realise how funny they were being by saying, shut up, bastard. And then me using it back. And now it's become a catchphrase. Bastard is what everyone's saying to me now. What kind of gift is suitable for any culture? I'd say comedy. Uh, Mr Bean, for instance, is funny around the world because it's just about a man that falls over. And Mr Bean hasn't got a DVD out this year. You have got What's Happening White People, 
available on November 19th for your stockings and there's a good routine on it about falling over. Christmas ceremony, you open up your stocking and you've got what's happening white people in it. How much more Christmassy can you get? <laughs>